Highlights from The Way to Live by Billy by Michael Uydebroek. Tiny. On November 2023, NAU Natasha Neural Attentiveness and the Secret of the Flow Meditation. With all of the bustle of daily life and the general difficulty we have with making ends meet, worries and problems of all sorts, these can gain the upper hand and distract us from obtaining true peace and harmony. Now more than ever, we need to dedicate time to finding out who we really are and subsequently bring about a consonance with our material and spiritual life. The way to do this is through daily meditation. On page 298 of The Way to Live by Billy, it states, through the meditative practice, everything negative in the human being allows itself to be neutralized so that he or she can be free of everything which disturbs or prevents the attentiveness. However, if the human being works on himself or herself and learns the meditative attentiveness, then his or her negative reflecting and striving change to fundamentally being good and thereby to his or her true nature. One's inner nature begins to light up and creates a warm, pleasant climate in the consciousness and in the psyche, whereby the true nature is made to bloom. For this reason, the meditative practice for the purpose of gaining attentiveness may be called genuine work for peace, which creates aggressionlessness and absence of gay vault and makes the human being a human being. Also, on page 298 of The Way to Live, Billy writes, There is a meditation of the flowing thoughts, emotions, and feelings. With this form of the meditation, one allows the thoughts, emotions, and feelings to simply come and pass again, regardless of how they arise and how they discontinue. One simply allows them to flow from the becoming to the passing, exactly as if they were waves of the ocean which arise and flow away to then pass again without trace. Any thoughts, emotions, and feelings which rise up are simply allowed to emerge and disappear again, totally without coercion and without approaching them. One must not reach for them or nurture them, or indulge in them, and one must not cling to them or attempt to reinforce them. Neither the thoughts, nor the emotions, nor feelings may be followed, nor may they be invited to remain. May the human being himself or herself be like an ocean which observes and considers its own waves without any play of thoughts, emotions, or feelings. And if one acts accordingly, then one soon notices that thoughts, emotions, and feelings very quickly come and pass, and are just like a burst of wind which comes from nowhere, and again disappears to nowhere. This is the secret of the flow meditation, that one does not contemplate thoughts, emotions, and feelings and does not attempt to catch them. Rather, one simply allows them to flow and thereby simultaneously frees the material consciousness from burdens, which is the actual sense of this form of meditation. So now, we have a new tool in our toolbox for attaining a neutral observation point and freeing the material consciousness of oppressive thoughts. This is a practical and simple meditation which can be easily applied. May this be an assist in bringing about peace, love, and harmony. View the video, Attentiveness, and the Secret of the Flow Meditation from the FLCA YouTube channel. Mantras and the OM Meditation as with probably many people, I have been interested 
in the topic of mantras in meditation and more specifically with the use of the OM mantra as a meditation. In the book The Way to Live by Billy Meyer, pages 284 to 286, he goes into detailed explanations about the benefits of mantras, however, only a few points will be mentioned here. For a more thorough perspective, please refer to his book. As well, articles on the topic of the OM meditation can be found on our site. Point number one. Billy explains, the recitation of a mantra is extremely helpful for the human being, and indeed especially when nervousness, disorientation, and emotions trigger an instability. Especially in such moments, the inspiring singing, speaking, or thinking of a mantra is of great importance because it is able to totally positively change the consciousness-based and psychical state, whereby everything negative dissolves and becomes irrelevant. Point number two. Every syllable of a mantra is pervaded with spiritual power which harmoniously floats in the consciousness and causes the harmony and love, as well as the positive equalizedness, to swing and pulsate in the consciousness. In this form, spiritual fine fluidal energy flows through the consciousness and spreads over the body's filigreed spiritual and fine fluidal tissue fiber. Through the singing, speaking, or thinking of a mantra, the material consciousness is charged with positive equalized energy, which floods through and harmoniously influences the entire consciousness and the whole body. Through the use of a mantra and its power, the consciousness works together with the spirit and the body's fine fluidal tissue network, whereby the human being is able to protect himself or herself from everything negative. Point number three. With the use of a mantra, it must be considered that such a mantra must only be used in a controlled form. That means that the concentration on a mantra must not be practiced in unending sequence, rather, in between times where normal Every day and materially connected thinking must intervene because otherwise there arises a dependency on the mantra. Point number four A mantra ought not to be used without a preceding corresponding time of the learning of the spiritual teaching and of the actual meditation. Rather, only when there is a certain practice of meditation as a sign of the maturity and probation. Now on to the OM meditation. The mantra, which is the best known, most valuable and therefore also the most used, is the monosyllabic OM, which is unsurpassed as a phonetic symbol for the highest power of the spirit and of the creation itself. In the correct form of use, the speaking, thinking, or singing of the mantra directs itself according to the rhythm of the inhalation and exhalation, whereby all critical thinking and intrusive thoughts generally have to stop altogether. The one who practices the mantra is therefore entirely directed at himself or herself alone and at his or her inner self without nurturing any thoughts. Solely through the swinging waves of the mantra, through the swinging waves of its sound, does the center of one's own inner self, of one's inner consciousness, become alive and active in harmonious form. The saying or thinking of the OM does not need to be an extremely long vocalization and need last perhaps only five or six seconds. In order to do the OM correctly, special attention must be given to the duration of the actual three components of the sound, 
the O, U, and M. O, U, U, M, M. On the FLCA YouTube channel, there is an easy visualization to refer to as a guide.